progress is a measure of moving from one stage of achievement to another. Otherwise, it's just movement. Let's not kid ourselves. The immunity clause under Section 308 of the 1999 Nigerian Constitution has provided for the immunity of the president, vice president, governors, and their deputies. For the most part, the government for this clause is archaic, having been embraced from earlier constitutions instituted by the then colonial British Empire. Unfortunately, <laughs> this clause inadvertently allows government officials to abuse their offices knowing fully well that they are protected by the same constitution. Some even brazenly commit criminal acts, e.g. sex or slapping senator. Too much powers are vested in Nigerian government officials. In Nigeria, the doctrine of separation of powers and checks and balances seems lost. We need strong institutions to ensure democracy. The office of the citizen must carry weight that I'm serious about. Some officials openly use state resources to fund their expensive lifestyles and indulgences to the detriment of the very same people who elected them into office. Even worse <laughs> is the reality that accountability is lacking in most cases and ridiculous amounts of money are allocated to cater to the needs of these officials. Checking all of this, my question is, does this clause serve the greater good the answer is a resounding no. So it is high time we level the field of prosecution. We must be able to immediately hold leaders to account, not wait until after four years, not wait until they've had time to steal enough money to buy judges and lawyers or flee the country. Or, um, but, but, but now, 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 we must institute and enforce penalties for officials who defy rules. Let me, let me restrain myself from commenting. I'll let someone else throw their weight in. OK, I'd like to say that the obvious populist position to take on the immunity clause is to say remove it, because that's, it makes sense. It's, it's, mm -hmm. It sounds very popular. But the question I'd also like to ask is, after these governors and these presidents that enjoyed the immunity clause, after they leave office, how many of them have we convicted? On one side, I'm asking that question, and it's a rhetoric question. On one side, I'm asking, without the immunity clause, how many of them have you con convicted? And secondly, exactly. what kind of system are we going to have with a political system as petty, as parochial, and as inchoate as ours, where people yeah. take advantage of every role? What kind of system are we going to have if it was possible for people to actually sue their governors? I imagine a situation where a governor would be dealing with a case at least every other month. So it sounds like a good idea. I really do think it might be a good idea, but I think we need to find a way to say maybe certain issues, maybe certain criminal issues, maybe we don't have a blanket removal. I think it's something to think about because when you actually look at even the criminal issues that these people were involved in, we find it very, very difficult getting conviction. Wow. I, um, let me just chip in here. Um, first of all, I agree with um, Omojua. I also agree with Rugged Man. I understand where he's coming from. But I think um, the rationale behind creating an immunity clause in the first place was so that um, public officials would concentrate on doing what they needed to do their jobs without um, having the constant distraction of prosecution cases every single day, every single week, every single time at every point. So while I do agree or module that there should be a more balanced way or system or procedure or infrastructure put in place that would allow public officials remain accountable or without distracting them from doing what they need to do, the core of what they need to do. So that's my take on Let me, Nafisa, let me say something. You say yes, um, the, the, the immunity clause was put there partly so that the government officials would be able to concentrate and not be distracted by um, cases every day, every day, every day. When you put it like that, that means you're, you actually are saying that they are committing crimes every day, every day, <laughs> every day, because it means they're being sued every day, every day, every no, day. Allegations. So now, no, let, no, me, no. Let, allegations. Me, let me ask this question this way. Let me ask this okay. question this way. If you, hire, if you hire somebody to work for you and the person mm -hmm. steals your money, what do you mm -hmm. do to the person? Of course, you take them to court. 
Thank you. Will you trust that person? Especially no, if it happens like twice. Thank you. So why do we even think of hesitating to prosecute somebody we put in a position to handle funds that's for the whole nation? Why do we even hesitate? Aren't we, this is where we're supposed to lead by example. You understand? Mm -hmm. And like Omojua said, uh, well, from what Omojua said, we shouldn't have a, do a blanket removal. Bros, yeah. you cannot say this sin, this crime is bigger than this crime. No, I believe every crime is a crime and anybody who commits it should Sorry, rugged time. man. Rugged Let's man. Let's lead by example. Yeah, I, why, yeah. I, why I, I really have to say something at this point is because I think, again, whenever we look at these issues, we, we're brought back to the roots, cause, and, and the decays mm -hmm. from the root. The fact that we have government officials who fundamentally we have no confidence in, you know, who operate like thugs, already tells you something. I mean, when I look at things like the fact that um, the American government are returning Abacha's loot with the condition that they must supervise, and we're all happy. Please, I beg, supervise them, because we don't trust them. You're already dealing with a, you know a rot that has gone you know so what? deep that immunity yeah. clause is just another manifestation of the problem we're facing. We, you we're know just why, basically you saying know, you know these why people are like not the right happy. people for the you job. Do you know why it looks like we're happy to collect the money and, and listen to whatever um, instructions they're given? Because the people who they're returning the money to have no intentions of using the money for the nation. It's mm -hmm. like saying, I want to give you this That's money That's what I'm trying now. to say, that the candidates, like, the people like saying, who are calling, like, calling government. It's like saying, I want to give you this money now. All I have in my head is, oh, I shall bring the money. Just bring the money. But whatever well, guys, they're saying, guys, they're not listening to. Guys, are we, you are, they're not listening. I don't, I don't, what I don't really understand is how whenever we talk about, you know, politicians and leadership, we kind of exempt ourselves out of it. <laughs> just, because for me, for me, it's like these guys will not get there if we didn't put them there in the first place. They, they will, they will, they will, right. Oh, you know they will. You know no, they, they have been. No, no, you know they have been and you know they will. See, let's no, be very won't. realistic wow. with each other. Let's be no, very realistic with each other. Right. No, that's, Dude, that's, how many how many ballot box snatching videos did you see during the election? Okay. Oh, okay. I think how many, no, 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 no. What I'm trying to say is, what I'm trying to say is, the people, remember what I said that we should not wait until after four years to remove someone who's, who we have evidence against as in a, uh, committing a crime. You know why? Yeah. Because by the time it's two, three, four, boss, do you know how much money I can gather for myself for four saying, years? And now, saying, I will use that to saying, buy any type of protection there is, including saying, people... I get what you're saying. You said that. But, but are, you saying, are you saying now that the people have no role and we can never have a role when it comes to the, the, the leadership of our system, we, of our government? That's... We, of course, now, now, now you're, you're sorry, sorry we're out of time. Bryce, no, no, can you I land your point in a sentence? Because we're about to wrap okay, this segment land up. Land your, land your point yeah, in a sentence. I feel, I, feel, I feel like it's both ways. We should always understand that we, we, we have the lead, we deserve the leaders that we have. And okay. if we want to change the system, it starts with us choosing the right leadership. But in not necessarily way, via the ballot box. Exactly. Okay, okay. I, I we, have to, we, have to, we have to leave it there. Uh, uh, I, I don't know. We'll have right. to find a way to continue that conversation. Certainly, we okay. are making progress by any measure. We're already on our final lap, and it feels like things only just got warmed up. That's the advocate for you, JJ Omojua, after this break.